Hello everybody, thank you for using Lovett this year. This video will be a full tutorial of Lovett collection, so if you are a scouting lead watching this, please make sure that each and every one of your scouters watches this video in its entirety. And if you're a scouter watching this, you're in the right place. You can go ahead and start by going to your app store and searching Lovett collection. Once you've installed the app, this is the page you will be greeted with and you can tap begin. You will then be prompted to type in your team's code. This is different than your team's number and will be a six digit code of numbers and letters. You will get this code from either your team captain or your scouting lead or a mentor. If for some reason nobody on the team has a code, you can prompt one of those three people to go to lavat.app and get support there. Once you've successfully joined your team, there will be a list of scouters that you can choose from that have already joined your team. However, if it's your first time ever on Lovat Collection, then you will need to create a new scouter under your name. But if you are already on the list, you can just select your name. Now you've been officially onboarded onto Lovat Collection, and you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on settings. Here, you will be able to set your field orientation. This really only comes into play when you're actually scouting a match at a tournament. You will just select uh, the correct layout from where you are sitting that matches the field that you are looking at. Uh, below that, you'll be able to select the tournament. Right now, all I have available to me is 2023 Galileo Division, but all the tournaments that your team will be going to will appear there, and you can select them uh, which one you are at. If for some reason you do want to redo this whole process, you can go to Reset All Settings and Data. On this homepage here, if I currently have a scouter schedule set for me, uh, I will be able to select the team and it will autofill the rest of the data. However, if I do want to scout a match manually, let's say I'm at a tournament and I am scouting a match that I'm not assigned to, or for some reason my scouting lead never set a scouter schedule for me, I can just go to Edit. Uh, uh, match details manually and enter in everything that there is to know about the match. So that would be like the match number, whether it's a qualifier or an elimination, the team number, and what alliance color they are playing for. Make sure to double check all this information because it is really important that you get it right. Once you've entered in everything, you will be able to hit scout this match and you can begin scouting. You'll notice quickly that the collection page is highly contextual. At any given moment, you're offered controls to record only what's relevant, what robots are capable of, and what's available to observe. Before the match starts, determine whether the robot you're scouting is preloaded with a note, and select the area that best corresponds to its starting position. When you hear the MC start to count down, pay attention and tap the start button as you hear the cavalry charge sound indicating the start of the match. If you make a mistake in what to do and action at any point during the match, Tap the back arrow in the upper left corner. If the robot crosses the line and leaves its starting zone, tap the large purple box. When the robot collects a note, choose the spike mark corresponding to its position. Positions are very much used, so be as accurate as possible. If the robot loses a note unintentionally, tap the white arrow at the bottom. Once the teleop period begins, the page will automatically transition. Now. The positional note collection actions have been replaced with a single button indicating the robot collecting a note anywhere. The teleop period includes the same actions for placing and dropping pieces, with the addition of actions for if the robot feeds a note to another team on its alliance, and if they score a note in the trap. You'll always have the defense and amplification buttons available during teleop. We know that amplification is hard to track, but do your best to check and see if the alliance you are scouting is amplified around every 10 seconds. The amplification automatically times out after 10 seconds, but you can also tap to turn it off early if needed. Defense is another difficult metric to collect. Each time the robot you're scouting moves with the goal to pin, hit, or block another robot, tap the defense button. Here are some examples of defensive actions. If you make a mistake at any time, you'll always have an undo button available. When you hear the buzzer, tap the button to end the match. Now you have finished scouting your first match, but there's a little bit more data that still has to get filled out. So first off, robot roll. Pick the option that best represents what the robot did for the majority of the match. So if they were defending for most of the match, click defense, or if they were doing offense for most of the match, uh, you can click offense. The only exception to that is if they were a mobile for like a good chunk of the match, like around half, then select that regardless of whether 
they did offense or defense or were feeding for the other portion of the match. Next is driver ability. Um, ones and fives should be pretty rare. One is the worst and five is the absolute best. So try to do something generally in the two, three, four range. Uh, after that, you will be asked to report on the stage result. If you don't know what all of these words means, then it's super important that you watch the FRC 2024 game reveal again. You should know what on stage parking and harmony all mean. So just select which one your, the robot you were scouting did. And then finally is high note. High note can be difficult to track because the uh, human player for the team that you were scouting might not have a recognizable shirt or you might not know who actually threw the ring. If you cannot figure out which team was actually the one, like which human player was actually the one to score, then just say none. But if you do happen to see it, then select fail or success based on what happened. Finally is pickup. Uh, say whether the robot can pick up from the ground or from the chute where they slide the ring straight into the robot or if they can do both. Last but not least is notes. I always tell my scouters to put stuff in notes that cannot be seen from the data. For example, saying that a team was a really high score is not that helpful because we can see that in the data, but saying things like they have a buddy climb or they had this really good defensive move or something like that could be really useful. When everything is filled out, you can go ahead and tap submit and the uh, app will automatically try to upload the data through your cell service and Wi-Fi. We know that sometimes at tournaments, as you can see here, it failed. Sometimes that will happen at tournaments because uh, Wi-Fi and cell service can be quite spotty, and that's totally okay. If you have a scouting lead or someone with LOVAT dashboard near you, then they can scan it. But if nobody like that is near you and you can't upload it, that's also totally fine. You can just go ahead and tap done and then go to history in the upper left-hand corner where you can see every match that you have previously scouted at. Um, and you can go ahead and try to upload that again or even get your QR code scanned. So if for some reason you're not able to upload your data, I would recommend doing it during lunch when maybe you're in a place that has more uh, cell service or waiting even till you're back at your hotel or home to be able to upload that data. So it'll all be saved here.